Mr. Bass here with another tackle bag review and it's a tackle backpack. If you're in the market for a tackle bag or backpack, be sure to check out all of my tackle bag review videos. I've done quite a few of them and will continue to do so in the future. This one is a pretty nice bag. It's completely black as you can see. No accents or highlights or additional colors. This is made by Gamakatsu and it's called the Gamakatsu Backpack. <laughs> uh, but it's made for tackle and uh, here's the label. Durable 1680 denier ballistic nylon. It is very sturdy feeling. The material feels very high quality. It feels as good as any backpack I've reviewed. And uh, without a doubt, I'm sure it's, uh, it's going to hold up and last for a very long time. It also has kind of a vinyl-like rubberized bottom that uh, should uh, at least slow down water from, from penetrating into the bag. So that is a nice feature. And uh, it, it's streamlined. It's, uh, like I said, all one color, but it looks pretty decent. Uh, a couple things about it, uh, the dimensions, it's 17 inches tall, it's 12 inches wide, and it's 8 inches deep. And it has quite a few pockets and compartments and things very similar to other backpacks. The bag in and of itself does look good, and as I said before, it feels sturdy. It also has uh, these backpack straps that uh, have a few nice things. A couple of nice little added touches are D-rings. I like D-rings on the straps but you, because you can attach tools, you can attach lanyards and things and I like that. It also has these loops going all the way up and down both sides. I like, I like those kind of attachment points. It doesn't have a hip belt, it doesn't have a sternum strap, but these are webbed, padded uh, <clears throat> shoulder straps and a pretty, I wouldn't say super extreme padding on the back, but there is a little bit of padding to give you a little bit of ventilation there on the back of the, the bag. It has a pretty nice sturdy carry handle. Feels very solid. And uh, that's kind of is it for the outside of the bag. Uh, another feature that it has is it has rod holders. They say rod holders, meaning that this pocket on the back can hold a fishing rod as can this. It says both pockets. Here's what doesn't make sense. There's only one strap above. There's no strap on this side. So I really don't know how this side could be used as a rod holder. Doesn't make sense. But this side definitely could. And I will get a rod and put it in there to show you what it looks like. If I were looking for a bag with a rod holder, one thing right away that I like is this pocket for your rod is big and it's got a bottom. A lot of these rod holders on these backpacks just have a loop on the bottom or a pocket with a hole in the bottom. And I understand why they've done it. So if you have a rod with a long butt section and you stick it in the pocket here, one nice thing about having a hole in the bottom is that you can slide this rod all the way down to the reel and then it kind of holds the reel in place a little better and it makes what's sticking up out of the top shorter. That in theory makes sense. Where it doesn't make sense is usually you're going to have a two piece rod or if you're a fly fisherman a three or four or five piece rod and if you don't have them in some sort of a case you need your rod tip to not fall through the bottom. And that's why I think a bottom is really important for the rod carrier. So you put my two-piece rod here, you take your strap, 
click it on. You could tighten it down. I'm not going to cinch it down really, but there you go. Uh, there's the rod in the rod holder. Now another nice thing about this rod holder is you could easily hold more than one rod in here. And maybe that's what they mean by two rod holders is that it's a single rod holder, but it'll hold two rods. Maybe that's what they're thinking. And that actually would make more sense because as I said, the pocket on the other side is clearly not a rod holder. All right, now if you look at the pocket on the other side, there is a pretty nice mesh pocket here for a water bottle. And they call it a water bottle pocket. And let me see if I got a water bottle in here. I do. Let's drop it in and see how it fits. Fits great. That's a 16 ounce water bottle. Next, behind the water bottle pocket is a zippered pocket, and it's got a fairly decent amount of room. You could easily put a spare reel in there. You could put quite a bit of spare line. You could put tools, all kinds of things in there. So that's the side pockets. This side, I figured it out now, is for two rods, and this side is for a water bottle and then a pocket. All right, now on the top, there is this strap, and this is a kind of a stiff lid here. So when you open it, you've got two zippers. Um, the front one is just an exterior pocket, and there's nothing fancy about this pocket. There is no sunglass case, sunglass holder. There's no special padded pocket. It's just a pocket, and it's not very deep. It's a shallow pocket but it's fairly good size. Then behind that, you get into the top compartment of the bag. And this kind of has some padding on it. Not sure what for, but there's also a clear zippered pocket on the back. It's kind of hard to see in the camera, but it's kind of like a map pocket. You can see it's, it's plastic and it has a zipper and you could also put, you know, your cell phone in there, keys, maybe some other things. And then you just have an open pocket here. Let's see if like a 3600 box would fit fit in there. Uh, it doesn't fit down, but it does fit in there. You could definitely get it to close. You could put several other items in there. Here's a reel in a box. Just kind of show you how it fits in there. It's pretty good. So that's the top pocket. Now there's a shelf here, and this shelf can come out. And then you could put 3700s in vertically if you wanted in, in the bag like that. But if you want to keep two separate compartments, you also can do that. And I'll show you what comes in the bottom. The zippers, I'll just say, are beefy zippers. They're pretty large, um, and they seem to work just about as good as any other zipper. So let me show you the final pocket. I'll close, snap this up. This is where the uh, tackle boxes would go in this bag. When you open it up, there's nothing on the lid here. A lot of these bags will have some sort of a pocket on the inside lid, but it does come with three Gamagatsu tackle boxes. Uh, right away you can see uh, if you have watched any of my videos I probably am not going to like this because I don't like the fact that you would have to pull each one out to see what's behind there. Uh, I would want to put them in this way so you can easily see. The problem is it's uh, not deep enough for that. As you can see they stick out. And that's why they put them in this way. The boxes do come with a bag though. You get one of the 3500D, which is a, is a deep box. That's what the D means. And then you get two of these 3500s, no, 3600s. 
you get two of these 3600s that are both uh, about an inch and a half or so deep. They're not as deep as the 3500D. So you get three boxes. They fit in there well, so you wouldn't need other boxes. But as I said, I don't, I don't like the fact that you don't know what's behind. I mean, you know, if you're fish all the time, you're going to know what's in your three boxes. But I like. I like having them stacked on top of each other so I can easily, I've got a label on my boxes and then I can see what they are without having to take them out of the bag. Let's see how a normal Plano 3600 box works in here because you might be able to replace it with those. Here's a Plano 3600. Alright, it sticks out too. You probably could still make that work. Uh, or you could put them in that way. So just a little different, you know, that is definitely different than any tackle bag I've seen before. Not sure if I'm crazy about that or not. I know I'm not crazy about it. I would definitely, that feature alone is probably enough for me not to get this. Although I do like the Gamagatsu G boxes. I have quite a few of them and I use them quite a bit. So that wraps up uh, a quick down and dirty review of the Gamagatsu backpack for your ta fishing tackle. I do think that the rod holder is very good on this one and I do believe that this is as tough and strong a material as any bag I've seen. The other thing that I have talked about in the past and I think it wor is worth repeating if you're really going to carry a backpack, a tackle backpack, on your back a lot, you might want to think about smaller instead of larger. Because larger, you can haul a lot more, but man, does it get heavy. And I know some of you guys will throw it on your back and hop on your bicycle and ride down to the pond and uh, might traipse through the woods a long way with it on your back. It may make sense to get a smaller bag, and this one is kind of that happy medium. It's not big, it's not super tiny though, and it might be perfect for you. The price is $99.99, so it is $100. It's not what I'd call a real cheap bag, but it's not terribly expensive. So hope this was helpful. Hope you got a lot out of it. If so, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy fishing!